My name is Patty Searle and I am the uh, owner and uh, creator of Thriving Edibles, a raw food catering business. And how long have you been in business? Four years. Almost five. And Almost how, five. what have you noticed with the growth of the business in the last five years? Um, people are just gotten way more conscious about what they're actually putting in their bodies. And so, uh, and that it doesn't have to taste like cardboard. People can really see that living foods and uh, vegan food does not, you know, can taste really super yummy as you just witnessed with eating your eggplant, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Delicious. Like there's no words really, honestly. I think yum yum actually kind of covers it. The noises you were making were perfect. <laughs> yes, I made a lot of noises. Um, so why don't you talk a little bit about what was the impetus for you to start Thrive and Oh. And really what it is. What is Thrive Yeah. So what, so the impetus to start it was actually completely an accident. I went to a retreat in Southern California and they fed us raw food. And I had been a carnivore, major carnivore, omnivore up to that point. And um, uh, I, they fed us the raw vegan food and I uh, lost 15 pounds in two weeks, which was shocking to me. And because uh, I had just quit smoking cigarettes at that time. So uh, I, and I felt fabulously. And uh, so I went to a chef school up in Mendocino to get myself schooled in living foods creation. And um, came back and friends found out that I was doing it and they clamored for me to make food for them. So here we are now almost five years later. Because most of my friends have really big mouths and they like what they got. And, you know, it's a good thing to have a big mouth, you know? Well, they like good food. I mean, right. people like good food. Right, right. But I think we have this false notion that... It's either good or or, or good for you, right? Exactly. And we, we, we want it to be not only beautiful to look at, but really yummy to taste and really good for your body. Exactly. Yep. And the irony is the true health is is in that combination of, yes. of, of serving all of, yes. all of those. Yeah, because it's texture, it's everything. Like we want all the senses to be engaged with eating the food, right? That you're like, look at it and you go, oh, I have to have that, right? And then you so get the... What is your what is your goal with Thrive Edibles? Do you have a goal? Well, our goal is to serve simply delicious living vegan foods and for people to get more vegetables and fruits, plant-based foods in their diet. I'm not, I am 100% raw and 100% vegan, but um, I don't think people have to be. If, if they could be 50%, you know, plant-based food, that'd be great. So we're just interested in showing people that it is not a hard thing and it doesn't have to be either or like we were talking about before, like really good foods, whole foods, that we turn into some really amazing creations. And with your business too, I know that you give to certain organizations yes. like Pachamama Alliance. Yes. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? So the Pachamama Alliance is an organization that is out to save our uh, lungs of the planet, the uh, rainforest of Ecuador. And it was started by a really good friend of mine uh, by the name of Lynn Twist. She started it several years ago. Actually, the people in Ecuador found her through a dream. Um, and so she went down there and started working with them to save them from the oil companies taking all the oil from underneath the rainforest. Because if we lose the rainforest, we don't have any planet left. So that's one organization I support. Another one is um, the Hunger Project. And that is an organization that is out to empower people to end their own hunger. So they're not interested in giving people food to eat or teaching them how to feed themselves. They already know that. They're interested in training people to get the resources that are available to them through their own government. So we work in uh, Africa and um, Asia and South America, 13 different countries. 22 million people are impacted a year through the work of the Hunger Project. So. And why is it important for you to give back like that? Well, for me is that if it doesn't work for somebody else on the planet, it doesn't work for me. You know, I have everything I need. And, you know, the vast majority of the people on the planet don't, especially in developing nations. So I'm interested in giving back. That's why I do what I do. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So, um, what kind of... And everybody likes to eat. <laughs> everybody likes to eat at least a few times a day. At so. least. <laughs> oh. At least once. Hey. Yeah. Well, we're really excited about this. Well, time. I woke up a half an hour ahead of my alarm this morning. <laughs> I was so excited to get up. Like Christmas morning. Yay! Here we go. So. Wonderful. And I have two good friends with me who are, you know, we're booth babes. And we're making some really great food. So. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you, Pat. Thank you.